Uh, this is going to be a quick back of my car seat rainy day pickup video because uh, you can probably see it on, on the window. My car window right there. It's raining and I don't want to do it in my backyard. Um, $34 is what I spent for uh, this. It's actually I went back to the same guy yesterday. He gets me stuff from time to time and he said he missed some, some games. I'll show the games first. Uh, that's where I spent most of the money and then I gave him... Normally, I don't. Uh, some of the stuff that I bought today, I wouldn't buy. It's pretty much nonsense. If I got it for free, I might be willing to take it, right? Um, but uh, my friend or this person I know is a bit of in a financial bind, so sometimes I give him money based on um, what I'll sell something for. So this way, it's just he gives me deals uh, on other stuff. So. Cut some Sega Genesis games. Uh, you know, the funny thing is, I don't really sell these very well at the flea markets right now. Um, I don't do enough cons to hold on to them. So, stuff like this is more and more going online. And I'm just going to give these straight to a friend of mine. Um, here's what you're getting. My friend's name is Video Game Daryl, if you want to subscribe to him. You're getting a Sonic Spinball in case. A pretty good looking label. A uh, pretty good looking case. Let's see. Uh, WrestleMania, Super WrestleMania, with with Hulk Hogan right there, and mm, this guy's not alive anymore. Yeah. Anyway, uh, not so great looking case, not so bad looking label. Sometimes I save some of these games for like um, conventions and things like that. I don't really need any Sega Genesis games for the convention right now, so these are just going off for sale. Bernie hide and seek game. Let's see, ages. <laughs> so like, yeah. you know, they go like ages like eight and up. I would say ages like five and under. You know, um, but there it is. Barney's hide and seek game. Um, when I when I check Amazon, this game comes up at about a dollar. I mean, obviously, in case it'll have more value. My friend will do the work. He'll get the most out of it. This came out as like change, uh, and you know, you always include shipping because you know, like. Um, oh, great. Barney's complete out of all the games to be complete. And uh, it's pretty good shape in case there's any Barney fans out there. Um, these are the two most valuable games. Like I, I said, I gave 30 for everything. Uh, this game is probably a $15 game. Um, loose. I, it actually has a pretty nice looking label. And the case is in pretty good shape. You know. Pretty decent looking. Um, so I guess with the case, maybe that's a twenty-five dollar game, or something. I don't really know. But it's it it starts at Amazon at fifteen. This is the most valuable of all the games. I tried this game one time, um, just test played it. I didn't really get too deep into it. Didn't really look like my kind of game. But there it is, Beavis and Butthead, the most valuable of everything I got today. Um, manual's a little beat up. Game cartridge a little beat up. Um case in okay shape that started at about 14 i think or 12 or something this started at um this started at 10 on amazon this started at 12 which means it's probably like a 16 dollar game loose and i guess maybe 20 25 in a case uh here's the other stuff i got spider-man the vhs i would never buy this uh but i gave my friend a dollar um because you know i'm a nice guy uh, this is, it looks like a, a DS, I don't know, it's either DSi, or maybe a DSi charger. I gave him a dollar for this, pink. Uh, video now. Oh, do you know the funniest thing about this? Let me see if I can get this open. Now, this is like a kid's uh, old school DVD player. Um, it says personal video player. The funniest thing about this is... Uh, what was inside? Alaska Northern Exposure with Jeff Corwin. What the hell is that? Uh, whatever. There's a charger for it. Um, then it, he gave me a radio control card. I gave him five for the video now because I figured uh, I can get five dollars back. You know, if I make any money on the slot, obviously it's on the video games. Uh, that's where the money's to be made. Like I said, I just spent thirty-four. And he gave me this uh, Tyco RC radio control car. I don't normally buy this stuff. It looks like it's been played with because it's <laughs> it's like rolling around in there. Um, 
I gave him five for this, figuring I'd get five to ten or whatever. Oh, this must be the remote on the top. Can't heat. I'll look it up. I, I really don't care about it. And um, then the last thing I got, he just had this fashion beauty set. This could be, I don't know. This is like generic bullcrap. It's not even a Barbie. Look, it's Hit Hot Girls. Anybody ever hear of the Hit Hot Girls? I might be out of the loop. Um, I gave him two bucks for this, figuring that I'd sell it for two to five dollars. Let's see. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Oh, it comes with a, a Rite Aid coupon. <laughs> so there, I can get my two dollars right back on on this this. All I have to do is process my Kodak Max Flash one-time use camera. Oh, damn it. Now i got to go buy one of those fucking things. Otherwise, I can't use the coupon. You know what? Maybe someone will buy this for the coupon. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's it. It's, uh... Today is blah... Today's Tuesday. A middle of the week pickup. Only because someone called me and had some stuff for me. This weekend, I don't know what's going on. You know, the weather's a little iffy. Um... Saturday, my main plan would be to go to Main Memorial Park in Clifton, and then Sunday I'm shooting for Teaneck, Teaneck Armory Flea Market. If you can make it there, come, come see me, come buy some stuff from me. Um, what else? One more thing. Oh, the con. I I don't know if I've been talking about this convention that we're putting together. It's coming along. Uh, I let me see if I have a flyer. <laughs> hold on. I am in the car with a box of. Oh yeah, check it out. Okay, hold on. Uh, give me one second. Here it is. Uh, it's official. Um, JC's food. Oh no, that's not it. Wait a minute. I oh, forget it. <laughs> that's not it. Uh, but this is where we're going to be on. Um, in two weeks, I'm going to host some free gameplay, and there's going to be food trucks, and there'll be vendors, and look, there's going to be Blue Star music. All right. I thought I had a flyer for the convention. I do not. Whatever. I'll show it in, in one of my next videos. I got them floating around somewhere. Uh, but it's official. The convention is going to be on. Uh, we are shooting for uh, Pat the NES Punk. Uh, we're going to have free gameplay. We're going to have... Um, we're going to have uh, stand-up video game comedians as part of the entertainment. We're going to have discussion pro uh, panels. And we're hoping, uh, when everything's more official, you know, I will say so. But we're hoping to have digital press... Uh, Joe Santulli, God, I hope I said his name correctly, uh, will be uh, leading the panel. Hopefully, uh, everybody know, everybody should know who digital, uh, where digital press press is, and of the digital press. Um, I don't know. I think that's it. I covered everything I want to cover for now. In the rain, in my car. Uh, hopefully, the weekend's coming up. Uh, I'll be getting some sweet pickups. Don't know, but I will let you know then.